Well, hello there, everyone. Woo-wee! I am excited about this one. So, obviously, you saw the intro of the video. This is a Friedman Cali. Now, if you don't know much about these guitars, I'm going to tell you a little bit about them right now. Uh, if you want to skip the talking and just get straight to the tones, you can totally do that. I'll link that um, here somewhere on the screen. But yes, these are amazing guitars. I first tried one, uh, I think it might, has it already been two years? I think two years ago at NAMM. So basically these are a collaboration between Dave Friedman, of course, of Friedman Amplification, and Grover Jackson. And uh, Grover Jackson is one of my favorite guitar builders of all time. It's, you know, he, he made guitars in my favorite era of music and all that kind of stuff. So this is, this is kind of like the brainchild of both of them. So they both uh, collaborated and, and worked hand in hand to come up with these. And it, it's obviously this super strap design, but there's uh, quite a few really, really cool things about this guitar. I was blown away by the attention to detail. And uh, I even showed the guitar to my wife and she was just kind of like looking at it and she's just like, wow, there's like a lot, you know, they really did a lot. And, and they did, they really hit it out of the park with this. So um, if, if you want to know some, you know, real in-depth specs, I have a link down below to the website. You can check that out. Uh, I'm just going to tell you some of my favorite stuff about it. Uh, they do all come with these uh, hard rock maple necks. You can see kind of where the lacquer's been sanded off and unfinished. And they're so comfortable. They're incredibly smooth. And uh, then the top, you have different choices you can get. Uh, I went with, of course, bird's eye maple. I'm a, I'm a sucker for maple. What, what can... <laughs> I even told myself, like, I'm going to go with rosewood. I'm like, you know what? No, bird's eye maple. <laughs> they did something I love on a guitar. The, the fretboard is rolled here. So it, it just feels like... It just feels like a neck you've had that you've been playing for like, you know, 30 years. You've been grinding away on this thing. And uh, the fretwork is is amazing. It's super smooth. Um, and it's what you would expect on a guitar like this, uh, to be honest. And it's a compound radius neck. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe Grover Jackson invented the compound radius neck. That, you know, um, I know these guitars are plecked. So if you don't know what that is, look in that. It's really cool. Uh, it, it's becoming, you know, more and more popular. I had a student of mine who's had a few guitars plecked. And this is the first guitar I've ever had, and I have to say, it, it is one of the best playing guitars, you know, I, I've ever come across. It, it just, it's so smooth sounding. And what I found interesting about this one was how much it rings. It's very... You know, usually when you have a bolt-on neck guitar with a Floyd, all that kind of stuff, um, I feel like you might lose some of that sustain. But I know they put uh, metal metal dowels, I think they're called zero movement. I can't remember what they called it exactly. I'll put it on the screen. But um, they put these uh, metal dowels in here and it just locks the neck in even tighter. And I think that has a big part to do with how much it's like, why it's so, uh, such a sustainy guitar. Other things, you know, you've got locking tuners on here. Uh, you have the hip shot locking tuners. Now obviously you don't need hip, uh, locking tuners on a guitar with a Floyd. Uh, they put them on here anyways, probably to make changing strings easier, which if anybody has ever changed strings on a Floyd, anything to make that easier <laughs> is greatly appreciated. So, uh, and of course you have a real German Floyd. The pickups are the Friedman uh, Classic Humbucker. I think this is the Classic Plus that's in the in the bridge, which is a little bit hotter. Uh, they, they wind it a little bit more. Thank God there's no tone knob. A volume knob, yes. <laughs> Who uses a tone knob? No, I'm just joking. You know, I use it on some guitars, but on a guitar like this, I don't want one. I just want a switch and a, and a volume pot. Now this guitar is relict, so it uh, on camera, you know, from a distance, it doesn't really look that relict. It looks just nice and white. It's actually pretty beat up, you know, but in, in, the, in a really nice way. They use nitro, uh, a thin layer of nitro on the guitar, and they they make different like levels of relic like some of them are really really beat up and this one to me is pretty beat up but it looks you know like it's not on camera so all that's going to do is it's going to allow it to keep cracking and, and wearing away which i've never been able to do that on a guitar because most of my guitars are you know polyurethane and you know you would never wear through that stuff so um that's just another you know factor i thought was really cool so with these bodies you can either get uh, ash or alder uh this one is ash and you can see you have your truss rod adjustment down here so again you know, uh, I think their, their whole vibe was, you know, a classic feel, modern playability. I think it says it on the website. And I think, they, I think they did that. You know, 100%, they've taken a guitar that feels like I've just owned it forever. I've wanted one for a long time. And uh, they've added so many modern aspects without losing the classic feel. So uh, it does come with a back plate. Uh, they had already taken it off, which 
I would have taken it off anyways. <laughs> I always do on Floyd guitars. They, they give you uh, uh, one of these like trimmel stops. So if you want to you know, hardtail this thing out, you totally could and they, and they give you that. So like I said, they're, they're just, their attention to detail on, on this guitar, they, they really make it feel like you're getting something special. And uh, you get this nice uh, certificate that shows that these were inspected by Dave and Grover themselves. And one of the biggest appealing things to me about these guitars was uh, the fact that they're made one at a time. You know, these aren't made in a big factory where they're just kind of like chunking out guitars as fast as possible. Uh, they're just taking their time with these, you know, one at a time, Grover's going through them, um, Dave and him inspect them, and uh, I thought that was, that was really, really cool. So for the tones, what were we hearing? You were hearing, well, where did that thing come from? You were hearing the Friedman BE-50. Whenever I was uh, picking out the guitar and stuff like that, uh, they asked me if I would like to check out some other stuff. And I was like, absolutely, you know? So they, uh, they sent over a BE-50, which sounds phenomenal. What a killer amp. And uh, I'll, I'll probably be demoing that one here pretty soon as well. You know, it's a, it's a really good sounding amp. So you heard the guitar into the BE-50. Um, uh, what was I using? I was using a Hall of Fame reverb and the Anna Sounds Delay, I can't think of the name, into the Two Notes Torpedo Live. So that is what you guys will be hearing. The neck pickup just has so much chime to it. I love the way it sounds. Butter. Uh, middle pickup, middle position, I should say. Got kind of that uh, that Telly style vibe, vibe Rooney going on. enough middle position for you because I only care about the bridge and the neck. <laughs> You wait, that'll be a song one day. All right, how about more, more distortion? Are, are we ready for that now? the whole thing but they sound so Thank you. 
Vamos a ver. hit you with some cleans, you know. I know, I know, I just want to play distortion, but I'll, I'll play some cleans. Alright guys, that is going to be it. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'm so excited to have this guitar. Uh, let's all welcome, I'm not sure what to call it, what should we name this one? You know, I always like to throw that out there to get suggestions from you guys. But, uh, yeah, like I said, links down below if you want to check these out. They are amazing guitars. So, until next time, homies, I'll be seeing you all later. Peace out and rock on!